Okay, this is a tutorial on how to use the slice tool. So if you just look up here, you'll see that you have the crop tool, the slice tool, and the slice select tool. We'll be using the slice tool. Here at the top, you can decide on your style. You have a choice of normal, fixed, aspect ratio, and fixed size. We're going to stick with normal. This tool is most commonly used in association with Adobe Dreamweaver as a web designer can make a template or even the final framework of their website on Photoshop cut up all the important elements and then import them into Dreamweaver for convenient web editing so if we use this imaginary website that I've just created for the tutorial I could just slice up the title just by clicking and dragging all of the articles images just like this can obviously do a lot more accurate than this and then all the features on the menu like that. From here I can go up to File, Save for Web and Devices. Once I choose all the format and stuff like that, so we're going to choose JPEG, we will save it to my desktop and we'll call it Website. And with that, Photoshop automatically takes all of my sliced up photos and puts them into a folder called images up here. It's one of the lesser used tools in the program but it's still a good one to know how to use. You never know when you might need it.